Come with me on a mindful meditation journey around this antique Georgian travelling chest of drawers. It's over two centuries old and wandering around it, concentrating on its details and its features, will give your mind the chance to relax, to rest and switch off and to mindfully meditate away your day-to-day -day jumbled thoughts. So for just a few minutes, a few minutes of mindful escapism, come with me. So first of all, whilst looking at the shape of the chest, the length and the taper of its legs, the angles of its body, consider its age, made in England in around 1790, over 230 years old. Now try to put that time span into perspective. Imagine what was happening in the world when this chest was new. George Washington was president of the newly independent United States of America. George III was King of Great Britain and the French Revolution was taking place. Then, just as now, the world seemed an unpredictable place. Think about how people may have looked at the time what did they see in the mirror? Well, of course, their own faces reflected back at them. White, painted, powdered faces, some with red, painted cheeks. That was the fashion for both men and women. Beauty spots, large, elaborate wigs. And all viewed under the flickering of candlelight. As they looked at themselves in the mirror, what were they thinking at the time? Love, loss, ambitions, hopes and dreams. They were just the same as us. And what about the timber itself, made from solid mahogany? The raw wood which spent weeks on end sailing across the Atlantic Ocean from South America to England. Look at the colours the varying shades of light and dark brown. A luscious colour improved by 200 years of life and polish. See how the hues change as we move around. And the shapes in the grain, wave-like, representing the waves of the Atlantic Ocean the timber crossed. The waves roll from side to side, from drawer to drawer. And as we move again, the shapes turn into flames, flickering across the timbers, just like a piece of art, always something new to see. Concentrate on the shapes for a while. The chest is made for travelling. Wonder how it moved from place to place. It was constructed decades before the invention of train travel. So it moved by horse-drawn carriage on roads that were barely any better than farm tracks today. It moved slowly. And because of its weight and size, it would need to be carried by two people two servants in the employ of its owner. Count the handles, the brass handles, easily bypassed and overlooked. But take a look at the patterns, the cast image of a face, a mask, a lion mask a design that has been popular in furniture since ancient Roman times, and one that was favoured as a motif by the British 
during the 18th century. Lion masks representing strength, courage and majesty. Now allow your mind to wander and think about the places the chest may have visited, the different houses, families, inns and taverns, even countries, the generations of people it has lived and spent time with, the events in history it has witnessed, and realise that throughout all of these events, happy, joyful, worrying and turbulent, this chest has remained the same. It looks the same today as it did two centuries ago. Think about these things while we look closely at more of its details. Now let's open the bottle drawer. Each drawer had its own designed purpose. Clothing, work materials, papers, bottles and decanters. Favourite liquors travelled long distances with their owner. Now look at the construction of the drawer. Something often overlooked. The dovetail joints. The scribe mark. The line which was scratched into the wood by the cabinet maker all those generations ago before he cut by hand the dovetails to join the drawer. Look at the deep scrapes, the gouging caused by centuries of pulling and pushing and working the drawer into place. Something that wouldn't ordinarily be noticed. But it's a secret whisper from the past just to prove to us today how old this chest is. And now the slide. Let's pull out the slide. Used for writing or for brushing down clothes. Notice the contrasts in the colours between the green baize cloth against the mellowed mahogany wood. The warm velvet, patches and discolorations that have built up over many generations. And imagine just how many generations it would take for the fabric to develop its wear and faded colour. Let's lift up the lid and it will hold itself securely in place. And now it reveals a selection of compartments for powders, oils, perfumes, pens and stationery. Notice the stains, ink stains. Let your mind wander, wander over the shapes how were they created? A rushed moment, a long forgotten accident. Ink spills, now bone dry. Imprints from bases of bottles, reminders of important correspondence or private secret letters. And finally, the most important feature on this Georgian antique chest, the hidden counterbalanced vanity mirror. Look at it as it cleverly reveals itself. Imagine what the chest has seen, the people, the ages, the fashions, the politics, the wars and the peace times. It's seen it all reflected in its mirror. 
It's seen it all for over 200 years, and yet it has barely changed. It's remained the same, the same as it ever was. And to bring us back to today, to help us bring our lives, our daily troubles and worries into some sort of perspective, order and understanding. Remember, this ancient chest has seen it all, and it will see it all again for another 200 years, and yet it will stay the same, the same as it ever was.